Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back on the Madden 15, and a lot of you guys requested it. Let me bring this squad back. So we're bringing it back. Now, in what capacity? I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe doing a full season with it, or maybe just playing some games with it here and there. I don't know. But you guys said you wanted to see it in action some more, so we're definitely going to bring this bad boy back. Now, with that being said, it is time for some lineup upgrades, man. And my offense, I think my offense is cool. Desby, Megatron, pretty much all you need. AP was beasting. O-line, I can't really upgrade my O-line anymore. I think these are the best of the best when it comes to the offensive line. And then my Titans are pretty cool too in Dick and Vernon Davis. Quickly though, I will say this. That freaking, that freaking, I think, what is it? Ultimate Legend Gronk, nasty. Nasty, 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 nasty car. That car, that car is ridiculous. On the other side of the ball though, on defense, this is where I think we need, we need some upgrades. We gotta get the team right. Yesterday, I posted some gameplay with Ultimate Legend AP and we couldn't stop the run. So I wanna upgrade my trenches. You know, right now we got about two million coins to spend. I wanna spend two million or maybe close to two million. At least over a million right now upgrading the team. So let's check out some D tackles, man. Now one option, I don't know why he's so cheap, is this mean Joe Green, man. 99 overall, going for 275k, that's very, very cheap in my opinion for a 99 overall D-tackle. Solid stats too, 80 speed, 99 power move, strength, 94 pursuit, 76 finesse move, 97 tackle. I think his hit power is like a 99 too. This card's pretty freaking loaded in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure he'd be a great upgrade from my Endemic Kung Su. Let me check his hit power quickly. All right, 97 hit power, so Duke can pack a punch. Compared to Aaron Dunham, this means Joe Green is a lot better, but Dunham has the 88 speed, so I wanted to keep him at a D-tackle so he can shoot into the backfield. Now, compared to Poe, honestly, honestly, to me, they're the same, you know? Speed the same, Poe's stronger, same power move, and plus one block shed to mean Joe Green. I don't know. I don't know if mean Joe Green would be that much of an upgrade from Poe. Maybe I just need to switch up my defense. I don't know, but compared to Poe, Mean Joe Green doesn't look like that much of an upgrade. This guy's going for a ton, over 600,000 coins. I really don't know why he's going for so much. Let's check his stats out. He's looking kind of nasty, though. Ooh, 85 speed, 101 strength, 100 pursuit, 98 block shed, 99 finesse move. Nine Ooh, okay, this is a very, very balanced card. It's not a one-trick pony like that Mean Joe Green, and compared to Poe, Randall's faster, same strength, and better at everything other than power moves. So Rand Randall might be the pickup. Even though he costs a ton, I think this John Randall might be the move when it comes to a new D-Tackle. If you've played with him on Twitter or in the comments, give your boy a quick play review. Let me know how he played for you. And the same with Mean Joe Green, too. If he played good for you, let me know, and I think we're gonna pick up one of those bad boys for D-Tackle. Almost forgot, but another option for D-Tackle is this 99 positional hero, Jeremy McCoy. Nice stats, too, man. 82 speed, 99 strength, power move, and pursuit, 98 tackle 97 block shit and 83 finesse move this freaking Dunterry pro is so stacked man once again comparing joe mccoy to Dunterry pro just like me and joe green the comparison is not as lopsided as i'd hope and not as big of an upgrade as you might think so i might circle back to joe mccoy it's also another d tackle the 24 hour in double kung su let's see what that suit was looking like and all right no suits are up on the auction block this will forks up 98 overall 102 strength 100 power move 99 block shit yo i really like I really love my Wilfork that I had before, but this one, I don't know. This Wilfork is nice, but I feel like it's too much for such a slow D-Tackle. I like speed at this stage in mud, so just in case we get in the backfield and somebody's trying to scramble, we can actually chase down the QB 72 speed Wilfork. This guy might get in the backfield, but he's not going to get any sacks in my opinion. He'll definitely clog up that run game, but he's not going to get any sacks, and we need sacks. Now guys, once we get some new D-Tackles, honestly, the team is going to be good to go. Don't forget Dick Lane at strong safety, Brent Grimes at cornerback number three, but just to mix things up, I think I might make a run at Ray Lewis, and I might make it run at GT Calvin. Oh wow, look at this, it's only one Ray Lewis up on the auction block. 99 overall, 94 speed, 100 tackle, play rack, 98 block shed, 99 pursuit, oh my gosh. Carlin stack, sure his hit power's maxed out too. Solid catching at 80, whoa, okay. I might start this beast. This card might be worthy of starting. I thought he was gonna be just like that Patrick Willis who's absolute trash in my opinion because his catch rating is so freaking bad, but this this card's nice, this card's loaded. Nice speed, nice play rack, nice tackle, nice for whoa, this card's nice as hell. This card's nice as hell. I think if we get Ray Lou, I'll still keep P. Willie as my outside linebacker because he's a beast at that and just plug Ray Lou in in the middle, that'd be a beastly pickup. And then for free safety, I wanna get it so bad. GT Calvin, I really wanna get it, but I don't know. I'm just on the fence about it, man, but I really want to get this beast and put him through his paces, man. If he's worth getting for 1.3, let me know. He's so expensive, man. If we get him, I think we can still get Ray Lewis, but I can't upgrade my D-tackles. So what do we do? Is it Calvin? Is it Ray Lewis some D-tackles? I don't know. Running lot played good, but this Calvin, I think this Calvin might be OP. 
This Calvin is literally gonna make my secondary a no fly zone. Nobody's gonna be able to pass on me. It's gonna be OP. All right, guys, in the comments, let me know who you guys think we should pick up. Even some players I didn't mention that I might be sleeping on, let me know in the comments. Now, one possible combo we could do is pick up GT Calvin, get the Ultimate Legend, me and Joe Green, then get Ray Lou. We could do that. I think I got just enough coins to pull that off. I'm just honestly not salt in that mean Joe Green, to be honest. His stats just weren't that impressive. I feel like I feel like if I get a D-Tackle, I might as well get John Randall because his stats are a lot better than anything that I got. Mean Joe Green, pretty much just another another Dunterry Poe. And we already got Dunterry Poe, so I don't think he's really worthy of the upgrade. So yeah, in the comments, help your boy out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace. Big third down right here, third and 11. I'm showing blitz. I got the pass. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Don't you throw that. Don't you throw that. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that shit. Let's go. Yo, it's been a minute. I ain't played all Madden season in forever, but y'all, I'm coming back. I'm coming back with the Vengeance, baby. AP. Nice run.